Hey guys, it's Coach Callie B with Coordinated Coaching. How are you? I apologize for the long wait. So today's topic is going to be about knowing when to train your athlete as far as strength training and speed or agility training, agility training, don't you like that? Okay, um, like we're gonna talk age, we're gonna talk when their body is ready, stuff like that. And I'm gonna keep it short because your time is important and I just wanna do that for you guys. Okay, so here we go. Let's take scenario. You have an athlete who's been, you've been coaching he or she since they were like eight years old and um, they are now 12. Well, the good thing is whatever you've been coaching in, um, whether it's football, basketball, baseball, whatever sport it is, they have already um, created that muscle memory. So they got that down, but now they're gonna start growing. And here's the cool thing about a child's bone structure. Well, anybody's really. Our bones calcify at 12 years old. So what does that tell us? Okay, you're probably wondering, Callie, how do you know this? I have a medical background and this is just stuff that I am genuinely attracted to. So I research this stuff, but this is something I've known for years, especially because my husband and I, we both coach and we also have three very athletic kids. So. 12 years old, what does that mean? Their bones are calcified. Does that mean you just start having them lift weights? Well, not so much. This is a great opportunity, a wonderful window for you to teach that kid proper form. It always blows me away when I start training a young athlete at 12 years old. I use the bands, I use a sandbar, it's only 15 pounds, but we, pro we, we work on, I'm sorry, proper form. And I get excited because I'm like, ah, oh, your form is so amazing. But here's the cool part. They've never learned any other way to do it. Therefore, you're not going to like come across them in 10 years and they've learned all the bad ways of doing a squat or a deadlift, all the ways that are going to cause an injury. Do you see what I'm saying? So their form looks amazing and you get to keep it amazing because you're focusing on the quality of the move and not so much the quantity, okay? So if you saw my post on Instagram, on my story yesterday, I showed three things. There was a six pound um, small medicine ball. There was my sand bar, it's 15 pounds, and then there was a blue band. These are things that I use with my athletes. Now, mind you, when I have been working with them for a while and their form is on point, I will allow them to use 2.5 um, weights, just free weights, Okay, or a 10 pound kettlebell. I'll use the 10 pound kettlebell on like squats, especially like goblet squats or sumo squats, stuff like that, okay? But in this first year of being 12 years old, I'm not just gonna cram weights on them. I want to properly train their body to be able to grow strength through slow progression. What is that gonna get me? Number one, a healthy athlete. Number two, proper form within my athlete. Therefore, when they are able to start putting weight on, say when they can actually like just squat the bar at 45 pounds, you can reassure not only the athlete, but the parents that their kid is lifting with proper form and this is going to keep them healthy and less room for injury, okay? So coaches, if you are new to this game and you have, say, a beast athlete and they're 10 years old and you're like, gosh, I should really start doing something with them, be patient, okay? They may be accelerated in their sport, in their craft, in their talent, in their game, but they're still only 10. Their bones will calcify at 12 years old, okay? Um, I had a funny question come up the other day. Does lifting weights stunt somebody's growth? Oh my gosh, I dug into that and honestly, there is no 100% answer. Some people say yes and some people say no. Um, do I allow my kids to lift under the age of 12? No. That's my preference, not only as a coach, but also as their mother, because as a coach, I know by teaching them proper form and focusing on quality over quantity, they are going to be able to lift better, more efficient with less injury, okay? So that's my spiel on lifting weights and stunting growth. I mean, it really depends, but you have to allow, as the child is growing, to add in progressive 
weights. You can't just say, hey, welcome to VN13. Here's 45 pounds, you're gonna squat right now. No, you have a whole year from 12 to 13 to focus on the form, to build that stability, that proprioception that athletes need in order to not roll their ankle when they're like running in from the field or running across the basketball court. I know you've seen it. You've seen your kid roll their ankle and they come right back up. That is proprioception. They are gonna get that kind of training through any kind of plyometric or agility training, okay? So answer to the question is, if you have a 12 year old athlete, start training them with bands, very, very light weights, anything from 2.5 to 10, nothing over 10, okay? And um, what else was it? The sandbars. All right, guys, well, thank you for checking this video out, and I appreciate your time, and I'm gonna get off here. This is Coach Callie V with Coordinated Coaching.